So it was one of the biggest tournaments post US Open back on the ATP, the China Open in Beijing for the men's side of things. It's going to be really interesting. It is a combined event with the ladies. It's only a 500 event for the men, but it is absolutely stacked. Let's go see who's not playing though, because there are some names that are pulled out. So only the two players pulled out of this one, Cam Norrie, he's pulled out, and Alexander Zverev actually pulling out, of course, just playing the Labor Cup. He did look pretty sick during that tournament and maybe just decided that coming straight to Beijing from Berlin is a little bit too much. So Zverev is out, but still big names playing in this one. All right, let's start at the top of the draw. And there are eight seeds in this one and nobody gets a buy in the first round. Yannick Sinner, number one seed, takes on Nicholas Jarry in the first round. That is crazy. Winner of that match will take on either Struff or Vavrinka in the second round. So very tough start for Sinner. Then you've got Lehechka versus Martinez. Winner of that match will take on either a qualifier or the number five seed Dimitrov in the second round. Then you've got Rublev, number four seed, taking on Karina Busta. Winner of that match will take on either Fakina or Zong in the second round. Then you've got Sang taking on Boo. Winner of that match will take on either a qualifier or the number six seed Musetti in the second round. Crazy stacked half of the draw. And Sinner, who is obviously coming off winning Cincinnati, winning the US Open, playing so well over the last couple of months, has now got to play in a very tricky draw. Obviously, you got to watch out for Sinner in this section. You've got to watch out for Rublev as well, Dimitrov, and of course, Musetti, all guys who have been good at times this year, and of course, Sinner being the best for the entire season. Also got to watch out for Jarry, who's just got himself back into some form. Zong as well, you got to look out for because he's been playing really well as well in the last couple of weeks. And also, Krinja Busta. I'd watch out for him there because that first round against Rublev, with Rublev not playing the best tennis lately. Krinja Busta could get him there, and he's been very good in his comeback. So, really interested to see who comes out of this draw, and if Sinner can handle this tricky draw. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got the number 8 seed, Bublik, taking on Kaboli. Winner of that match will take on either Zoe or Marijan in the second round. Then you've got Manorino taking on Sonego. Winner of that match will take on either Monfils or the number 3 seed, Medvedev. That is a crazy first round match. Of course, Lamont be has beaten guys like Elkrez over the last couple of weeks, and Medvedev has been in pretty bad form. So, really keen to see how Medvedev handles Monfils in that one. Then you got the number seven seed, Hashinov, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match will take on either Sarundalo or another qualifier in that section. Then you got Grieg Sport taking on Kecmanovic. Winner of that match will take on either Piracad or the number two seed, Elkaraz, in the second round. That is a tough first round for Elkaraz. Piracad, massive serving, especially on the courts of Beijing, which could be quick. And if they are quick like they were in the US Open in Cincinnati, maybe not that fast because Cincinnati was ridiculously fast, but still very hard to get that serve back of Piracad. So very awkward match for Elkaraz, but man... This is a wild event. I mean, there's some crazy first rounds. Of course, you've got to watch out for Alcaraz. you got to watch out for Medvedev. I'd be watching out for Monfils as well. Has been really good and confident over the last couple of months. And I'd also watch out for Gaboli because he's actually been pretty good this year. And he just came off as an alternate at the Labor Cup. So being around those big guys and those top guys, let's see if that rubs off on him and he can get some tennis and get some good tennis into him. There's some crazy first rounds in this section. There it is. That is the China Open for the men's. And it was stacked last year. We had some crazy matches. Of course, we had Sinner versus Medvedev. We had Sinner versus Alcaraz in that tournament last year. We might be getting the same, but then again, maybe we won't because there are some crazy first rounds there for the, I mean, the, the top three seeds have nightmares. Even the top four seeds, you can chuck Rublev in there as well, have nightmare first rounds. But let me know down the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this event? I'm going to go with Sinner. I mean, you got to go with the guy who keeps winning, right? Sinner, I think his draw is slightly better than the rest. Maybe it's because he's playing well and the other guy's trying to get some form. But man, Beijing absolutely stacked again for this year.